Hey everyone, we're back with another video. In this video, we're going to cover how you guys can secure an LFP car, the lithium iron phosphate car that everyone's been so amp about recently, and we're going to sort of delve into how we secured it ourselves. In the next video, we're going to discuss the upside of getting the LFP car versus the NCA car, so stay tuned for that video as well. But if you guys uh, have any comments, questions, or concerns about this process, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe for more content. We have a full build coming on this car, so please stay tuned. Let's get into this video. To note is how to identify an LFP car versus an NCA car. And the easiest way to do this is by looking at Tesla's listing. If it has an advertised range of 262 miles, it's most likely an NCA car. Or basically it is an NCA car. Now, if you're interested in the LFP car, you've got to find a listing that's advertised for 253 miles of EPA range. Obviously, we're talking about an SR Plus here. And when we're looking at existing inventory, I'm fairly certain like every single car is an LFP car because of the manufacturing uh, difficulties that Tesla's been running into. And I'm just assuming uh, batteries might be a limiting factor here. So that's why I'm assuming they're pulling batteries from China. It's helping them increase their manufacturing process. And that's why they've been uh, releasing LFP cars in batches. So that's the first thing you've got to look for. Another fun fact is when you're looking at the car in person and you want to identify if it's an LFP car or not, the seventh character in the VIN is an E. Don't know why? Just no. The manual way of looking for an LFP car, which is probably the most common way, would be to head over to Tesla's website. You want to go over to the menu tab and you want to search for existing inventory. Now existing inventory can be used inventory or it can be new inventory. So you want to type in your zip code. I'll type in a random zip code. And you're looking for a new Model 3 under the standard range rear wheel drive trim. Obviously nothing's going to show up because the demand is so high. Whenever these cars sort of come to inventory, they just disappear. So what trick did we use to acquire this car? It's called Discord. So there's a specific Discord, I guess you could also call this a bot, where it basically notifies you every single time Tesla posts something to their inventory. Now, if you guys want an invite to this Discord, please drop a comment and uh, we'll definitely send you guys a link. But this is basically the only way that we've sort of found that you can secure an LFP car effectively. From our experience, these cars literally fly off the shelf within five to 10 seconds. So you guys need to make sure that you guys are on this Discord frequently or you have your notifications on and you know exactly what specification you want. So when the specification comes and it's in your area per se, you can quickly secure the car and boom, you have an LFP car and you don't have to wait eight to 10 months like people are waiting right now for their NC8 cars. Now we also think aside from how to acquire an LFP car, the LFP car is far superior, which again, we'll get into in, the, in another video of why it's better than the, the NCA car. But in terms of resale value, I think people are underestimating the, the power this LFP car has given it's easy to sort of maintain, you charge it to 100% whenever you want. And also, the degradation is far uh, better than an NCA car. So given, you know, you're getting two times the battery for the same price, given that the car charges, it could do basically 3,000 uh, charge cycles in its life, whereas the NCA car can only do about 1,500. So this is why we're dedicating a video to, to the LFP car, because we really think that you guys should be pursuing this car specifically. Not that the NCA car is bad, but when you have sort of the same car for the same price, you might as well just shoot for the stars, right? So that's basically how you do it. You just head over to this Discord and you can just scroll through these different options. And basically that's, that's the only trick. So if you guys have any other questions or concerns on how you could potentially acquire the LFP car, feel free to ask. The next video, that will upload in the next few days. We'll basically cover why we favored the LFP car to the NCA car and why you guys should too. So stay tuned for that video. If you guys like this video as usual, please leave a comment, subscribe, give us some sort of feedback. We're a small channel, we're growing rapidly and uh, stay tuned.